Hi, my name is Felicia. Welcome to today's RD Insights series. In this episode, we'll guide you through the injection learning design guide. When a customer places an injection learning order, the journey begins with design for manufacturer ability. Let's take a another look at the injection learning DFM checklist. Word thickness. Uniform word thickness is crucial for injection learning. Varying thickness leads to uneven cooling, causing issues like sink marks, voids, and warping. Ideally, keep the word thickness between 1.2 mm and 3 mm. Here we added a recommended word thickness for different resins. Avoid exceeding 5 mm as thicker words increase production time and affect part properties. Draft anger. Draft angers facilitate smooth part injection, preventing damage. A guideline is to increase the draft by 1 degree per inch of depth with a minimum of 1.5 to 2 degrees for most components. Complex textures may require up to 5 degrees per inch. Undercut. Undercuts are recessed or overhanging surfaces or features, such as threaded roofs or snapped feeds, that hinder easy injection from mirrors. It's possible to avoid undercuts either by orienting features parallel to the draw line or by incorporating actions into your mold design. Parting line. The parting line is where mold halves meet to create the product. A misalignment here can cause flash defects. When designing the parting line, it's generally preferable to place it on sharp edges rather than filleted surfaces. Bosses. A boss is a raised area to connect the parts, boosting strength without hand manufacturing. Bosses design rules add a base radius 25 to 15% of wall thickness. Link to an uh, external wall via a ring. Keep height under 3 times after diameter. Space multiple boxes at least twice adjacent to wall thickness. Ribs. A rib is a short wall on the molded part's cavity side. Enhancing structural strength and load bearing ability. Ribs design rules base thickness less than or equal to thirds adjoining wall thickness and rib height less than or equal to 0.5 times nominal wall thickness. Corners. Round sharp edges and corners. Smooth corner at aid plastic flow, lowering strength and cranking. Color design rules. Internal corners should be more than or equal 15% of adjacent wall thickness. External colors need to 115% of adjacent wall thickness. For verticals like bosses, round the base. Boss radius equal to 25% adjacent wall, minimum 0.381 mm or 0.015 inches. Gates. A gate is where rising enters the mold cavity. Four common types of gate design, edge, tap, pin, and screw. Gate design rules, place gates away from high strength zones to prevent defects. Fill thicker sections first, distribute material evenly with multiple gates in the runner system. Hide gate marks in the part design to minimize their impact. Injector pins, when a pin injects a part from the boat, it creates a shadow mark, while unavoidable. You can control it. Design those marks on flat surfaces, perpendicular to the pin's movement direction. To wrap it up, here are your essential injection learning design rules. First, retain uniform wall thickness. Second, use appropriate draft angles. Third, avoid undercards. Fourth, round out sharp edges and corners. Fifth, eliminate thin sections. Sixth, add bosses. 7th, add ribs and runs. Okay, that's all for today's video. For more expert insights and assistance, visit us. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe our channel to check out this video, where we showed the common injection learning defects. See you next time. Bye!